Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stupidest idea I've ever had. It's time for the Superstar Shootout, and by God have I been getting a lot of messages with people hyped about this. Um, yeah, we have got the richest T here. Hello! Here he is. Oh, here he is. If, e if ever, and T said this himself, if ever there was a series of matches that were perfectly designed for uh, T to cast, I think this is probably it. Yeah, that's uh, about as ridiculously silly as my head is when I play this game. <laughs> So what we are going to do is we are going to start by revealing the teams because you guys want to know who's made the cut. Mm. Um, in advance, if your players haven't made it, I apologise. There's always season two of this. Um, but it, it's been very, very difficult to pick just 64 players. But all 64 players are from 64 different Rebel teams. So there's only you're only going to have one player maximum. Essentially. Yep. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to black out the screen for a moment. And we're going to start, T, mm -hmm. with the Violence Together team. Who All right. are Orcs, Goblins, Lizards, and Ogres. And they are led by none other than this fella, Sputnik. Sputnik is back. Yes. There he is. The little goblin that could until he couldn't. <laughs> What's um, spawned one of the better things I've ever said, the uh, unbelievable Jeff. <laughs> Sputnik, of course, who played for Walkathon's The Astrox team over in the Big O. Um, and then he died in the playoff semi-final, I think, of last season. Uh, when he, he fell over and was claimed by the death floor. Yeah, that, I think that was the first casualty of the death floor um, that we'd seen. Um, or the first one that was recorded. It was one of the it was one of the deaths that really brought absolute silence to the entire casting team. You know, no, surely that didn't not, just happen. Not Sputnik. <laughs> Take the troll, not the gobble. <laughs> All right then. So who have we got on the team with Sputnik? As Squiggy is here and is hyped as he should be. We have got, and I'm just going to move this. You've got the arrows here. You can move left and right with T, so we're going to do it this way. Oh, yeah. I see Megan that. Rain. Megan Rain is here from Brazzers. This season, the semi-finalist, of course. Yep. And what a black orc that is. That is a beautiful black orc if I've ever seen one. Um, no affiliation to the, the, the star Megan Rain or anything. Like, <laughs> no copyright um, infringements here. No Mighty <laughs> Blow, Block... <laughs> Guard, tackle, and stand firm. That's like the dream black orc with like a couple bits extra. What we can promise tonight, of course, is completely unbalanced teams, uh, which is the entire point. That's Who else have we balance. got? Yeah, number three, Roger the Rocket. Roger the Rocket from Papanasty's Bash Incorporated. And trust me, I had plenty of choice. Uh, Homo Scepter was combination, so a lot of people did submit players. But also, I went and found players where I needed to fill particular gaps or particular roles in the team. Mm. Um, and we've also got... I've made sure to try and get some rookie league players in there, so the rookies are represented. So we've got a few college league players who've made the cut too. Oh, yeah. Uh, Megan Rain might indeed be minus movement, but I've taken a decision that I'm just going to let him off because he earned it. So there's Roger. Roger's a strength four thrower with uh, block, kick, kickoff return. And accurate. accurate. Um, so he's going to be doing a lot of the ball, well, potentially doing a lot of the ball work on this team. Uh, we've also got Prime, who's a Black Orc from the Big O. That is a strength five Black Orc with block, mighty blow, and guard. It's a better troll. It is a much better troll. Um, I mean, again, it's sort of the almost ideal. Like, the only thing that player would need... It's stand firm, and that would just be the the worst thing that ever existed. I know, right? Cthulhu Collector, thank you so much for the bits. Um, so there you go. That's I uh, hope we, we keep them coming in. We also have, guys, um, I've got a link at the bottom if you scroll down for the Rebel donation page. Um, we are looking for anyone who's willing to donate anything they can so we can continue to get great prizes like that for the yeah. end of Season 8. 
Um, the money pit is running a little short, so um, obviously that that's I'm not going to keep going on about that. But the options there if you want to. Shameless plug. Who else we got? We've got the knight. The knight is the first G-Man orc that we've seen, oh. and the knight is from Philbo's fighting, fighting fist. fist. Look at the state of him. That is a fantastic blitzer. I kept with the theme. RG5 blood step because what is a normal roll? That's that's a brilliant, brilliant play. <laughs> <laughs> this is of course the original version. The knight was claimed in the devastational. He took an Agi bust and was then subsequently fired. Yep. So this Where is the the knight in his glory days. That's from Philbo's fighting fist who were in G-Man Division Two, mm. and that that thing is a piece of work. I love it. Motoring. On Canadian Cheddar is here from uh, from Cheese Cheese Tactics Mark Two. I should have guessed with the name. This is one of the uh, this is one of the killer pieces. We got plus movement, mighty blow, tackle, piling on, and pro. Pro. He's a mean son of a gun, isn't he? I expect to hear some dinglings. Um, throughout this cup, or I'll be disappointed in your choice of coach. <laughs> All right, so that is it for the orcs so now we move on to the goblins and of course it was a little trickier with goblins because they've only had one season to develop and they're goblins so what we came up with was uh, big smelly from the chaos cup <laughs> so, stupid. so big smelly has sprint and nerves of steel because you need to fail more two pluses obviously <laughs> And that is exactly what this team needed. <laughs> there, there, is, there is a rule. The four coach, of course, Ornan is coaching this team. Um, and all the coaches who are coaching are aware that all players must take to the field at least at some point during the game. So Big Smelly will be taking the field at some point. I'm sure he'll lob Sputnik. Um, that's me just he almost could, yeah. from the, uh, um, So what else have we got? We have... Laszlo, who is a loony, and the mm. loony with a hell of a lot of skills. I'm impressed um, how you've managed to get 31 SBP on a goblin and it's still alive. Laszlo is from uh, Negative Pro's REL team. Uh, they are called Say Hello to My Little Friends. And uh, he has Sneaky Gate. So sadly, no dirty player, but he does have Sneaky Gate. Mm. And it's important um. to get Sneaky Gate onto these teams, isn't it? Well, it's more important to have Dirty Player, but Sneaky Get kind of almost does the job. The interesting um, thing is that Onan's TV is slightly lower than the rest, so you will be able to pick up some bribes, theoretically, if mm. you want to, to keep a Does it get 50k around. bribes? Uh, I Did have no problems? idea. Absolutely I'd like to know. not a clue. <laughs> because that'd be interesting. That'd be quite meta. <laughs> the, the last entry from the Goblins is Hopper. He was a pogoer with catch and block. Mm. Uh, Hopper plays for the Weenie Green Meanies, uh, which is Dash Utenheim's team from REL. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> and he's going to be bouncing around magnificently. Um, yes, until it fails and dies. Um, because that's the way of a goblin. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the goblins. So now we move on to lizards. And, well, if we're talking about lizards that are really stupid, where better to start than Captain Jack Harkness, number two? You know what's even better about you unveiling a skink? It's that Gerber just joined the chat. Oh, dear. Bang on I mean, cue. It was meant to be. Hello, Gerber, if you're here. Uh, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Hello, hello. I mean, this is this is a skink that I think I would apple. Um, <laughs> nose dive, nose dive. If you think this first team is already too ridiculous, you've seen nothing yet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> remember that I had to get goblins and ogres into this team. You would oh, you would apple that skink. I think oh. you would apple that skink. Yeah, I mean that's strength three, agility four, blood sidestep. I mean that's like that's a good player. <laughs> I know, right? Also a good player, Pharaoh is back from the dead. Oh, Pharaoh was Eisenmite's Agi Five skink, 
Uh, he's got a bit of a black eye these days. And he is still yeah. carrying that niggle. Yeah, that's what the black eye's there for. <laughs> so you know. Bussy, AG5, Sprint, Sure Feet, Catch, Villa. I feel like that's a one-turner. That is a skink that never rolled a double. Does Well... Don't need doubles if you got AG5. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need AG5 on a skink to begin with. You dodge on the two plus anyway. Oh, on, on don't four. rain in his parade. <laughs> <laughs> you don't tell Pharaoh what to do. All right, so that is it for the skinks, which means we move mm. on to the Saurus, and we have Renekton. Ooh. Renekton I... is a badass Terrible Saurus. champion. <laughs> Block, mighty blow, piling on, dodge. And tackle. That is from Sukari's old provocative protagonists team. Oh. Who I believe I, I were believe. a former Super Bowl finalist team. Yes, yeah. they were on season three against Sandun. So there you go. Yeah. Um, there's Renekton in all of his rediscovered glory. And alongside him is Joe Dirt. Joe Ooh. Dirt there, who's very, very similar actually. Block, Mighty Blow, Tackle, Piling On, and Jump Up. This is from 130's Tadpoles in, in the, the Big, big city. city. Yeah, I mean, the uh, the Yum Pop's quite interesting. Why am I saying Yum Pop? <laughs> but anyway, that's Yo Swedish Dirt. people. I mean, <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> Some say it like that. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's move on. <laughs> so there's Joe Dirt. We know what Joe Dirt does. All right, yeah. so it's time. For Gerber's <laughs> favourite Croxigar in the whole world. <laughs> Please, no. No. I, I had enough of him in like one match of the playoffs. King Ghidorah. Ghidorah. Bow he... to the King Ghidorah. Well, he wouldn't notice if he didn't because he boneheads a lot, does <laughs> King Ghidorah. Uh, King Ghidorah is from Hood's Alliterative Allosauri, who of course were in the Season 7 playoffs. Mm. Um. He is guard, stand firm, and grab, but he isn't and because stupid. he never gets to use any of his skills because he always I, boneheads. I have a feeling the uh, yump is going to stay now, and mm. I hate myself. <laughs> well, speaking of things beginning with a Y, <laughs> when I want to ogres, and Yob is here. <laughs> if you thought the Adji 5 skink was bad, <laughs> how about an Adji 5 nobbler? Yob plays for uh, the Scholars of Ogre Hampshire over in G-Man. Um, oh, my God. And he is uh, he is absurd in every way. Well, oh. at least for the Noblar, it helps the landing. So you can actually toss him consistently. It does, yeah. It's a shame we've only got Big Smelly to throw him. I mean, if, it, if anyone's going to throw, it's going to be Big Smelly. I mean, that's Sprint Nerves of Steel. That's just a match made in heaven. That's not strictly true, because we do have the Tormentor. Oh, now, yes, the, we do. The Tormentor comes from College League. Uh, he plays for Tegun's team, which who are the Altdorf Pro Wrestlers. Uh, and he has block and piling on. That's a pretty good ogre. Uh, yep. Cheesex, this team we can now show you. Uh, Sputnik's Flight are at 2940. That is the team in all its glory, and I can tell you that that is the lowest TV team in the competition. We're barely scratching the sur we, surface trust of dumb. Me, this isn't even that silly. You haven't well, seen our final form. Well, it makes sense that the team with all the stunties is very cheap. Mm. It was difficult to actually get them up to that. I had to go to town on some of those uh, bloaty, bloaty skills. Hence Big Smelly. <laughs> Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to black the screen again while we move on to the next team. Would that be the Alliance of Goodness? Uh, no, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to uh, the team that Sean Mann is coaching now, the Afterlife, 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 Afterlife United, United team. One. Okay. Uh, that is called Nefern's Return. And Nefern is the captain of the team. And Nefern looks an awful lot like that. Yes. It's of the Super I Turbo Mummy. Already. I hate this player. This player made my life a misery. <laughs> <laughs> he was amazing! Nefern the third. Movement five, mummy, with break tackle. That is a cage diver and I'm a block. half. Look at the state of Nefern. Um, and, okay, right, so I said everyone only gets one player. You might have noticed that Knife Juggler wasn't on the Orc team, and that's because Gerber only gets this form of Wolf Rider. Oh. <laughs> it's the best, the best player I ever owned. 
This is the Huge Jackman Memorial Cup version of Wolf Rider, and it's an AG3 mummy. Oh, oh it's the best mummy alive. Oh, or dead. I'm not sure how it's for. Oh, but let's not get into the ethics of if a mummy's alive or dead or not. Like, I don't want to go down that road. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, that's a potential ball carrying mummy. Mm. We'll soon see Should if Sean be. Man's brave enough to do it. He did. He did ask me, uh, Lascaris, you've only missed the Orc team, but I can go back and have a bit of a, a once over of them all at the end. Um, well, like, I, I wouldn't hate if the mummy is actually your catcher and you just like push him up the field slowly and then pass to him and win. Hmm. I mean, how many pushes no one does it take it. to do a one turn with him? Uh, uh, Lascaris, I can much. I can tell you that um, what's his name Prime from your team did make it onto the team. Uh, your strength five black orc. So that's where your player is. Easy. Anyway, let's move on here. There's Sher. And uh, that is a strength four Sher hands block sidestep ghoul. Pretty that nice ghoul. Did wonderful work for the Undeady Bears in G Man last season. Um, that's. I uh, can't remember who that is. Fiction, this is indeed the legendary team reveal. We're just going through all the, all the players now. Uh, and this is the Afterlife United team. So this is Powod's team. Um, who, ah, Powod, of it course. Was, it's Powod. From My the... old apprentice. <laughs> sure, who did wonderful, wonderful things to help Powod win G-Man Division 3 in Season 6. That's my boy. Uh, alongside him is Ed, mostly dead Poe, who is another Strength 4 ghoul, but this one has Mighty Blow. That's a... <laughs> I like it. Because why not? Strength 4, Blodge, Mighty Blow. Because I saw that and went, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a girl. That can go in. Uh, Ed Poe here, he plays for, uh, bear with me a moment while I find out. He plays for the Almost Dead Poet Society, which is Christoph's REL team. Oh, I remember um, that girl. So there you go. Right, moving on. That's the end of the undead mob. So Necromantic. now, as correctly pointed out, a lot of competition for werewolves. But there was no way I could not put Rod Longstaff in here. Oh, the thing is, though, it's going <laughs> to... If Rod Longstaff actually kicks the bucket in this, it's not the real one and everyone feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> that is Mighty Blow, Block, Piling On, Tackle, Jump Up and Pro on a werewolf. He's pretty much as good as they get, folks. Yes, it's a werewolf from Rel. What more do you need? <laughs> He's a legend. He paid the golem tax. Alongside him, we have Hannibal Barker, which is a strength four agi oh, for werewolf. For God's sake! With bludge tackle. Because of course it is. D-Man called it, plus strength plus agi wolf was indeed next. Who had this? Uh, this belongs to Jimmy Burrito and Another Thick, Rich, and Creamy. Another Rel team. Rel knows what they're doing with werewolves. Um, yeah, because they pay the golden tax. Indeed. Um, and of course, neither of Fiction's Strength 4 werewolves have made it. But that's because the original golden tax, Hindered Dejection, is here. Oh my <laughs> god, here he is. He is a blodge flesh golem. I mean, if you're what now? Interesting flesh golem chub steps, uh, bludge guard flesh golem called Gonzo is pretty good. Hinder dejection, of course, Gerbel will remember, was insanely good at not being rolled power against, if that makes sense of the sentence. Stand there eating that. dice. That match never happened. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know what you're talking about. This oh, is indeed a very high strength team. Um, but there's only one flesh golem on it. Uh, and technically, the next player is undead, although he's actually Necro. It's, uh, it's Skeletor. Yeah. <laughs> Had to do it. Um, Skeletor yeah, is that's... Kedgy Ruse's Necromantic White, but for some reason, the mixed team creator only lets you put undead whites in there. Uh, I, think... I guess they're technically the same. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a bit of an agey statement. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> So it's, uh, what team, what was the name of that team again? Uh, it's, uh, well, Dr. Freakazoid's Escapees. That's it. Yes. Viking oh, Cop, I believe, fun. has a bit of a bounty out on this player. Um, I think that he was bounty got claimed, though, didn't it? Well, he, he was turned into Armour 7, but he was never, he was never killed. 
Oh. So maybe tonight's the night. Tonight's okay. the night. Um, right. T. Itchy big moment. We're on the oh, Camry now. Here it is. <laughs> starving, starving hippos. This was uh, my Chaos Cup 2 team, which was essentially the same theme as Family Game Night, but all of them like dead versions. Um, and I got completely boned by the lift lock rules. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Hail Mary Pass, Dirty Player. <laughs> Hail Mary Pass Hull's is pretty saying, good. Well, that player's going on the line. And that is an interesting decision to make tonight, because when all the players are so good, who do you put on the line of scrimmage? Who gets Apo rights? Um, I mean, this this player's the linchpin. I mean, you have him sitting in the back. If he gets hold of the ball, you can Hail Mary Pass it on a 2+, plus, boom. And then if you're feeling a bit cheeky, you can stamp on him a Dirty Player. It's the dream player. <laughs> it's um, it couldn't be a team involving Kemri without having Gengar. So Edrian Smith is here, yep. and that is a strength six Tomb Guardian with Mighty Blow Guard and Break Tackle. I hate Ed, this Tomb Guardian. Made That's, my life a misery. With Break Tackle, that is the equivalent of Agi Six. Just like oh, a cage. I don't really care. That's the nearest thing we seem to LOS for. Her. It's my player, it's pretty shit. <laughs> you got to remember, there's going to be a lot of big guys on either side as well, so the, the front line is going to be pretty bulky. So there you go. Uh, Adrian Smith made the cut. Also making the cut is one of the silliest players I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Kabooey's here. <laughs> How do you get 76 SPP on a skeleton? This isn't a throw <laughs> well, This is a skeleton. You just throw all, all the Ajis and he... And like he can actually score. <laughs> Kabui belongs to Zizetta's Kemri team, Ashes to Sand, who played in the All Stars most recent season. Um, there's Kabui. Look at him. What? That's not even a throw right. It's a skeleton, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, no. and... <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Um, also, the final Kemri uh, player making the the cut from the Big O. King put punch in the tut. Oh, uh, fairly bog standard tomb guardian. Actually, he plays for the scrape and sand skeleton snakes, which is easy for me to say. That's drag tactics team, mm. but another good big beefy piece to uh, hit things and cause some pain. Yeah, I mean, it's always it's always nice just to have a standard player instead of something dumb. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that. Must mean. Uh, in fact, that's not the final Camry player. There's one slightly lower on the list. But, of course, with this being Afterlife, that means there's vampires afoot. Oh, no. Uh, take a look at this one. Yes. Ghost Bistros is a strength six vampire, everyone. <laughs> Left block. He's so stupid. What it's are you like going to do about that? Morgan fork. <laughs> uh... I, I think the only way you're going to get him is if he runs out of thralls, because he ain't going to have many of them. Look He's at the gonna... state of him. It's brilliant. I'm expecting the 1 in 36 and to fall off the pitch turn 1. That's my prediction. Strength 6, AG4 vampire. Nope. Just my... Yeah, just... Wah. What's this blitz rat doing How here? How do you predict uh, the thralls, though? Well, this is, the, this is actually going to be the tricky thing. Um, bonus Camry round... Fireball multi killers here. Uh, he is a he is a blitzer with mighty blow, piling on tackle, pro, and jump up. Jump up. Uh, bonus fact: this is this is from Spicosaurus's "It's All Hilo's Fault" team. Bonus fact: <laughs> <laughs> this is the blitzer that killed Terry Tennant. <laughs> That's like an achievement. I oh, that that guy. That guy instantly got his way into Valhalla, even if he's not Norse. Um, I ain't gonna judge. So we burn this one with fire, is what we do. No, yeah. we don't. This one survives. <laughs> All right, so that leaves two thralls to make up the numbers. And uh, if we had vampires, we couldn't possibly not have one from Random Guy's team. And of, of all the uh, thralls to choose, you chose the best one. Yeah. Guard block tackle, movement bust, and a niggle. He's got a damage back. Good old chores. There's chores. I mean, 
sometimes doing chores is backbreaking work, so you can't blame him. Yep. Ah, now, Squiggy, you've said two rerolls with a vampire. I got a solution to that, mate. Here's Boom! a leader thrall. Leader. <laughs> Get destroyed. We have our own reroll, Sunshine. Um, I think this is um. Uh, this is from before. this is from Joxy's vampire oh, team, Leoric's new best friends. I'm thinking so. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good throw. I mean, I knew our Fortio also had one, didn't he? Uh, possibly, yes. Um, that's why I thought it was him and not. This, this is the thing. Like, you've got it. If you're putting the vampire on the field, you kind of want him on the field as well because he's got a reroll built in. You've yeah. got a five man bench. He doesn't have any other skills apart from leader. Do you want him on the field? Is the reroll that valuable? Do you essentially give up a player? We'll soon you find probably out. probably bench the vampire and the two thralls, to be honest. Well, they all have to come on the field at some point. That's the rules. I mean, we all know Starving Starving Hip will Can just be a play. So, uh... uh am I going to post <laughs> this whole cast on YouTube or some other site? I'll, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Yeah, I, I want to I keep a record of this. Why the hell not? As I slowly descend into madness and the straight jacket. Titans. Coming in at 3130 team value. It's already yeah, not there. Like pretty much 150k higher than uh than what we saw from the the violence together team. They are Nefern's return. That's Sean Mann's effort or what Sean Mann's been handed today. It's interesting that so far the lowest SPP player we've actually seen is six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna stay that way. Right, we're gonna we're gonna Get rid of the screen again, so no. we can move on to which chaotic player? Yeah, pack? the chaotic player pack, the team that San June is coaching. Okay, I like the name. Yeah, yes. now you'll also like the name because you might notice these are all tagged with uh, RSS, but but San June didn't do that. He he tagged it with ASS instead. <laughs> and I sort of looked at him and said, "What are you doing?" <laughs> but here he is. There's Jerry. Oh, for fuck, He's Jerry. back. We tried to get rid of him, and he comes back. He's like a herpes. He's the herpes of Blood Bowl. One of Rebels' original memes, I think. No, he was a Force meme. Well, you know. They all count. AG3, yeah. extra arms, juggernaut, break tackle, and guard. And the scorer of many a touchdown in his day. Nose dives, famous rat ogre Jerry. I mean, surely the famous over it is uh, quotation marks. <laughs> Alright, so who is lining up alongside Jerry? Now, if you thought the last team was silly, this, this one is going to get pretty nuts as we go through this. Uh, at number two, it's Clawichor Nethgirk. I have a feeling somebody wants to link a video about this player, because that's all he did for like a week. Mm. Was just obsessively link it in every single location he could. It's... But it's a brilliant fucking player. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Iron Masters, RG4, Blodge, Leap, Very Long Legs, Chaos Warrior. Because, yeah, that's a thing. Of course, um, it plays for, um, what, what's his team called? Snovgard. And Snovgard, I think, finished bottom of, of REL Division 2. But honestly, I'm not even sure Iron Master was bothered because he got to run around with Clawichol and Neth Girk. All this player team. needed was Big Hand. And it was just the meanest player I've ever seen. <laughs> Actually, you probably prefer a tackle. Just well, to be don't able go to technical. You get mutation access. Have fun for once. <laughs> oh. Be well, interesting fine. to see how San June uses him, or probably whether he just makes like him any LOS player that he has. <laughs> like he probably knows how these work. Actually, this might be an LOS fodder. It's too mm. silly. Well, moving on to number three uh, is a player from the Sages Slanesh Slaughterers oh, team. I love this player so and it's much. Chloe. It's I another leaper. Oh, this was an experiment, wasn't it? Was it was the project, yes, but the project went horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, so what we're left with is this sort of weird mutant. It's like a really, really shit black orc. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Wrestle tackle leap, and at the moment he wanted very long legs, he got plus strength and a second movement bust. 
that thing just getting chucked, thrown at the problem. <laughs> oh dear. So there you go, there's Chloe. And again, there was plenty of choice from Slanish Slaughterers, but we opted for the silly one, I think. Um, competition. Moving on. I think we all remember this guy. The god himself. <laughs> the one and only. The uh, stupidest player I've ever seen in my life on a Chaos team. Bodhi's back just when you thought the floor had killed him. The floor regurgitated a little bit of him. Um, and we were able to regenerate him for one game and one game only. Potentially two, depending how far they get. That is an Agi 5 two-headed sure hands tackle block. Beastman. He can go where he likes. He doesn't care. Apart from anywhere that involves the floor. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the entry from the New Day Cope, which of course means Weebay didn't make it. Um, but I, I felt Bodhi's that Bo Bodhi, Bodhi's just a lot of fun, isn't he? Speaking of a lot of fun, oh. anyone ever heard of Big Kev? I think I might have heard of him. It might be before my time. Big Kev is from Club C, who I believe have just won the All-Stars tournament. Um, down in the Rookie League. Big Kev made a right mess of the bargain boozers amongst everything else. He is claw, block, tentacles, plus strength. He was, he was and, uh, it's... Making a mess of the bargain boozer should not be an achievement. No, true that. Now, this, this Minotaur is due another level, but it hasn't been rolled. So there's very little I can do. But it's Fedic. It's Fedic's uh, it? chaos team. Okay. So that is indeed the champion all-star team. Better than Oomph. Fedek, who, when I played him, I was saying, man, this team's got a lot of claw. And he said, I wish I had more. <laughs> He's a chaos Lass coach. coach. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is it for chaos. Now, when we were talking about goblins earlier, some of you may know that Metal has a, um, a fanatic with block. But the reason he couldn't make the cut is because Julius Cheezer did. <laughs> oh, I, love. I think if Kedgerus was here, he's having just a mental breakdown. Julius Cheezer, <laughs> who after an entire season of not hurting a damn thing, basically killed the entirety of Kedgerus' old lizard team. There I'm pretty you go. sure it was in an entire career without injuring anyone really. I mean, he's got 76 SPP, Gerber. He's, he's hurt something. <laughs> <laughs> MVPs. Does, Lots of MVPs. He does come with a niggle, so he is potentially weak on that front. But it's your standard Storm Vermin. He's, uh, he's good at hurting things. Yes, indeed, Squeaky. The Massacre at Mount Lamanai. Okay, so who else is alongside him? Now, we're on to... Uh, well, no, we're not quite on to Gutter Runners because we've got Gary Friendly. Hey! Yes. Although he disappointed us Look in chaos. this incredibly bloaty piece of shit lame rat. <laughs> Gary Friendly, dirty player, sneaky git, kick and wrestle. He's, uh, he's a fan favourite, is old Gary. Instead of having four got runs with skill, why not have one with four? <laughs> <laughs> it's just more efficient that way. Right. Totally. Now we get into the serious business, because I had to pick some gutter runners. Mm. Rebel has a lot of really, really good gutter runners. So I've got a list as long as my arm for season two, season three, how many of these we end up doing. Uh, but for, for this time round, the first pick is Nivolian. Yes, Viva La France. <laughs> he is, of course, the Pastry Pest's old one-turn threat, um, who spends a lot of time on the bench with his armor six, and also a lot of time running away from things. I wonder... Yeah, it's, it's like I'm. Um, it's a uh, got a runner with ten movement, sure for each sprint. It's just a dumb player. <laughs> He's got wrestle, which head. was definitely taken long before any of the good stuff happened. Yeah, the good stuff. Um, but anyway, can we just comment again on how stupidly terrible the mutations are for? for yeah, that second head looks dreadful. Like, well, like on a line rat, you can actually see it, and it's like really ugly, but it's good. And here it's like pointless. You can just see like a second jawline hanging down beneath his uh, helmet. His helmet there. It looks dreadful in every conceivable way. Is there any like, if I does say, is there any from Red Rat Door? 
Uh, no, there was a couple suggested, but none made the cut. And that's no. because Jumpful Sneak did. Oh. This Raven's is from claws. Gaudi's, yeah, Raven's Claws. Uh, another player player he team. didn't use. <laughs> it's uh, it's RG5, block, big hand, leap, and sidestep. So if you thought Bodhi was good at running in and picking things up, this guy isn't bad either. I like the uh, the big hand, actually. Just the actual look of it on the mm. model. It's, you know, you can see it's got, like, warp stone stuff, like, cutting out of it, like, veins. It's kind of cool. He it's combines... also just a big fucking hand. <laughs> Jumpful Sneak combines really well with... Um... Gaudi's Wrestle Tackle Dauntless uh, gutter runner who runs in, gets the ball down, and then Jumple Sneakers, wherever it goes, just runs in, grabs the thing, and runs away. There is there is three leap players mm. <laughs> so far. Yeah. I don't know if you've put any more in, but. Uh, well, we've, we're on the Dark Elves now. And we have Bud Light, who Ugh. is uh, from Trunkhead's old Dark Elf team, Tiny Bubbles. That's an old team. It really is, I believe is, I yeah. suggested him. Yes, he did. And he made the cut. He is Blodge, Strength 4, plus Movement, and Frenzy, which makes him quite interesting. Bit of a surfing a threat. That is a very good player. Yeah, this team is, this team is insane. I don't know how anyone's going to handle this. Uh, <laughs> they, they are bloaty as well. Uh, so, alongside Bud Light, uh, where are you, Rookie League people? There she is. It's Rachel Rowdy Ruish, if that's how you pronounce that. Firm favourite of the Rookie League, this witch elf. Has an entire series written about her. Uh, mm. You've seen doing a wonderful job with the locker room Oh, report. that's what Rowdy is. Yeah. I always wondered what the whole thing about Rowdy was. I had no idea. And yeah, it's more leap. It is more leap. This one's a blood step, AG5 leap strip ball. Mm. A frenzy, mm. because you know, in case you don't strip it on the first go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, actually, frenzy and strip are probably the least uh, synergizing skills you can get. All right, thanks, Captain Boring Facts. Um, <laughs> well, that's why I'm here because you Back are the colorful fun. one. So there's Rowdy. Rowdy makes the cut uh, alongside the Kiwi Kid. The Kiwi Kid, who comes from Ladeus. He's got John Syndrome! <laughs> yeah, he is plus movement, <laughs> minus movement, I'm afraid. <laughs> pure, pure bloat. Um, but the Kiwi Kid comes from the uh, Fruity Kisses team, who oh, are coached okay. by Ladeus over in REL. And he is strong arm, sure hands, accurate, and pass. A very, very good thrower of the ball. Hmm. Someone would intercept well him tonight. <laughs> There's the Kiwi Kid making the cut. Right, we got one more Dark Elf Blitzer, and this one is from the College League. So it's a little bit less developed than the others, but it's still been doing a damn good job. I mean, you say that, and then you see the skills it's got. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's Protess, and it is from uh, a Velociraptor's team, uh, Rebellious Scions, uh, who did all right in the College League, has to be said. First ever season of Blood Bowl. Blodge, Mighty Blow, Tackle. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Nice facts, idiot. <laughs> Dreamify saying it's a miracle that a runner got enough skills to make the strong arm not look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He must be feeding them touchdowns. <laughs> so there you go. That is the last of the Dark Elves, and that means we have three Underworld to do. Yep. So we're going to start with the Warpstone Troll, and it's uh, Botulinum Biderbeck. His claw tentacles. Basically. Yeah, I really like the tentacles on the Warpstone Troll. <laughs> yeah, they're super nice, aren't they? Uh, this comes from Jazz Poison, which is Space Lion's REL team. Um, and yeah, Claw Tentacles means you're not getting away from him in a hurry, and if you don't, it's going to hurt. Yeah, but like, we have seen so many Strength 6 players. <laughs> like, they don't care. <laughs> True that. Uh, so, alongside the Warpstone Troll... We have, uh, well, the f we have a goblin, and this first one is from the Underworld Unimpressives, G-Man, and this was the Underworld team that made the playoffs. You may remember this guy. It's Gerard the wrong way. Strength three horns. That is like a strength four blitz on a three plus cage dive because he's stunty. 
Well, the, this team, like as a whole, really needed more cage diving ability <laughs> because four leap wasn't enough. Mm. So we we brought you a goblin. Yeah, we got you a strength four goblin essentially when he blitzes. So there you go. There's that. There's Gerard the wrong way, and uh, he could potentially bring the silly. Uh, I'm confused. Why is Kislev on the Chaos Pack team? Uh, it it isn't essentially. I think making the joke of all the leap. Oh, I see. I see. I get it. Right. Another goblin. Understandable. He's had you for a wrestle. You know, more cage diving. More ball sacking ability. We needed more of that. Mm. Body isn't enough. Honestly, this understandable goblin might might end up being line fodder, to be honest. Uh, That's he comes, understandable. He comes, hey, there you go. He comes from the underworldly underworlders, which is Julian's big O. Outfit. Um, here is the team in all its glory coming in at 3,300. 3, well, you said it better than I could. 3,300 TV. Look at the state of that lot. Can anything beat that? I don't know. I mean, with Sanjun behind the wheel. Coached it's by gonna, Sanjun as well. It's going to take some. Some shit. <laughs> well, like, if he fails a leap or seven, they can lose. <laughs> that is a pretty good team, isn't it? Right, that means we got one more to do. Uh, and I know there's been a lot of people waiting to see who made the cut. On the Alliance of Goodness team, this is going to be coached by Morka. And uh, this has five different races in it. It has humans, Bretonians, dwarfs, halflings and yes. wood elves and they are of course captained by none other than huge jackman oh Let's yeah we needed a hero to beat the 3300 team who could we call other than huge jackman do, 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 do. there he is do, 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 do. Ah, ah, ah. okay uh, someone clip that <laughs> Rip <-ty. laughs> God's sake. Uh, yeah, what can we say about this player? Um, he's, a, he's a bona fide legend, essentially. He has a whole entire cup named after him, for God's sake. Yeah, sakes. he does. He comes, of course, from uh, SFG Sam slash Vapor Gecko's team, the Handsome Jacks, one of Ariel's old stalwart human teams, um, that was mainly famous because everything that wasn't huge was dreadful. <laughs> and there was a whole story built up around the fact that the the, when Huge died, the rest of the team were actually quite happy because he would stop stealing all the bloody limelight. Wait, didn't he have a stat bust before he died? Uh, very possibly, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we want Huge like, in all his that's glory. Why, that's why we didn't allow oh. an up on him. And that's why we don't have an up on Hugh Jackman Cup. Because <laughs> he, he had a stat bust, so he lost up all rights. In, indeed, indeed. Um, Pauper69 has just followed. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying the silliness. I mean, the matches are going to start in about 15 minutes' time. Unlimited power! Oh, right. sorry. That was Reginald a bit there. Brett. Arthur Pendragon. Yeah. That's a strength five blitzer. With dodge and sheer hands. He's That's... still going to need that dauntless against... Some of the players in this <laughs> cup. <laughs> that that is a ludicrous blitzer from Reese's old uh, um, big O team, uh, mm. Reese's Ravens. That's the name of it. And now Arthur Pendragon was a, was silly because when he died, the new Arthur Pendragon also rolled plus strength. <laughs> and then when he died, the new new Arthur Pendragon rolled plus Agi or something. So there he is. Look at that. There's something about that name. Seems to be. Yeah, it's like Big Al, except the opposite. Mm. Uh, okay, so then we have Dante the Daring. Now that's an AG5 blocker with guard and mighty blow and tackle. That's a, that's a confused player if I've ever seen one. <laughs> well, he's a cage dive. 
He said another is. cage diver. We've got her up to our arses and cage divers. <laughs> Don't cage tonight, people, is what we're saying. Um, Just like leave the ball open, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Dante comes from my stays as team, uh, the Knights Who Said Knee, who have just retired, actually. I think he was a fairly more old school, was Dante the Daring. He died a few seasons ago. Um, but uh, we've only got one more Bretonian, and if you like memes, who no. better than Shaco Jaco? Fuck. <laughs> I love. I love He's Mr. back! Lucky. Satan is back! This stupid player, I love it. <laughs> the pro pom peasant with two movement busts, an agility bust, and a niggle. He's just gonna instantly die. <laughs> we have like, literally glued him back together. Like, if someone told me this is a Creeper Club player, I would believe them. <laughs> but this was in, like, G-Man Division 2 for ages. This was the yeah. scariest player on that Bretonian team. It's from I'm scared of this peasant. It's from Mr. Racky's team, the bringers of silly hats. And Shaco Jaco was magnificent in his glory days. Like, look at the state of that. He's got pro from when he doesn't quite get the job done the first time. I think he just likes the bell noise, really. <laughs> All right, so that is it for Brex. And that brings us on to... Humans. Humans. Now, plenty of choice here. But Pedro made it. Yes! Of course. Pedro! Oh, my God. The first... Right. This is actually an interesting fact. The first game that I casted of Rebel was a game with the Jam, which is the team that Pedro's from. Mm. And I fell in love with this human blitzer immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Helgen's here. Welcome along. Helgen, who's normally part of uh, Andy, Andy Davo's stream, uh, which I was on the other night. So welcome along, Helgen. Uh, we have silliness planned here this evening. I forgot to put a claim on Pedro, actually. Yeah, there is Pedro. Pedro is from the Jam, Bobby Bintang's old human team from G-Man Division 1 and other divisions when they were being developed. Uh, Mighty Blow, Tackle Guard, Piling On, and Juggernaut, but with a movement bust. Yeah. It's yeah, fine. it's Pedro. Still movement sex, fast right. and work. We can, we can make up for that with Lynch. Lynch is silly. This is one of the Stark whatever's on, right? This looks like a... This looks like a big ol' human. <laughs> yeah, this is from the big ol'. Uh, Helgen coming in with 300 bits and smashing the record for top cheer. So, thank you very, very much for that. Smash! There's Lynch. What the uh, fuck? Movement 9, Agi 4, Blood Step. It's John and Royce. Yeah, he, he's, he's mental, is this one. Right, we're going to take a little break from humans, but we'll come back to them later because we have some dwarfs to look at. There's Bro <laughs> Resource Manager. Now, I believe Squiggy was saying all this at you five and no dive and tackle. Well, I found you dive and tackle. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say I'm surprised we didn't get the niggle death roller that was ashamed of his niggle from uh, the bargain boozers. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's it just like getting back at you. <laughs> That's a death roller with dive and tackle. Of course it is. Uh, what else can you say? He's got block. block. He's got multiple block. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty... That's pretty a lot of block. Good, um, death roller. I can't mm. believe I'm saying it. Yeah. All right. Who else have we got? We have... Fairweather. Fairweather is a long beard from the Three Mountains. That is Chaos Ubaloo's team. Um, they were in the playoffs this season before losing to the Vampires because yeah, the Vampires went mental. This is a fairly good long beard. I hope he hasn't gone to the uh, Discount 89 store. Hmm, quite. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone went through the Discount 89 store for tonight. Hmm. All right. Here's a Troll Slayer. Beer! Beer is good. Migo. That's, yeah, this is from Mego's team. We like to drink. We like to drink, and Beer really does like to drink, as well as punch things. Mighty Blow, Piling On, Tackle, Plus Strength, and Pro. Yep. And, of course, was Beer was Beer the one who killed Nefern? Potentially. I don't remember. Oh, God, I've just seen the next one. 
Yes. Oh, for God's sake. This, this the is... next one explains why... Yeah, he... none of the bargain yeah. boozers made it, and that's because Tree Course Meal did. For God's sake. I mean, you've just cursed this team. He's yeah. gonna he's gonna take root immediately. And then he's gonna die to claw. Although he has been called Three Course Meal, which I am endlessly disappointed about. What? That's a typo. Who, who, who did it? <laughs> <laughs> so there's Three Course Meal. He has block and jump up, and... I guarantee you, he will take root on the first turn. Guarantee you. Mm, that is what he does. He's from the Bargain Brunchers, one of the worst teams to ever grace Rebel. Um, <laughs> this is Absolutely my worse. well. This is my halfling team from the season just gone, who have now been set on fire and will never return. I mean, there wasn't much left after I had a goal. Let's no. be honest. No, not at all. <laughs> but hey, Tree Calls Meal is here. Um, alongside him is a little halfling. Called Wilford Brimley Jr. It's your own Puggy. Indeed, he's actually four block. Well, it's not really Puggy. Your Puggy be plus strength. Yep. But Puggy's Puggy's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I've seen a Puggy, I've, it's just died immediately. Yeah, that's <laughs> because all the halflings just die immediately. It's not just Puggy. Uh, who, who was Terry Tennant? Terry Tennant was one of my dwarf longbeards who was double niggled, and I kept him around as the team mascot for the entire season. Um, he was amazing. And, and he, he survived, survived an entire season of Claw Mighty Blow. And like 16 hits of Knife Juggler. Yeah, He's he... a real legend of g because the only legend we got is terrible. <laughs> but the only legend didn't manage to kill a double Miguel Dwarf. Terry Tennant, Terry Tennant had two smashed knee injuries. Um, so basically had to sort of drag himself around the field by his arms. And what wasn't really much good, but was very good at causing opposition teams to burn rerolls because lots of people would double skull against him, and it was really funny. Uh, this halfling is the, actually the only clan league player to make the cut. Uh, he is oh. from Fat Kids clan. Oh, Fat Kids. And it's High Lord Salt's team, literally. So there you go, there's a halfling. I mean, look, look at this little pudgy belly. I mean, look at that. It's like me, except way older and shorter and has hairier feet. Here he goes again on his own. Oh, for fuck's sake. We thought we got rid of him. But, but how will he handle having a team this time? He's not used to it. It's a new, like, a new experience. God's sake. Uh, <laughs> it's your sin. It's the strip ball pro sidestep plus movement plus agility. Nickel. Ward answer that made everyone's life a misery until it died. You sinned who was, of course, a two plus catch away from single handedly carrying Squiggy into the semi finals of the playoffs. He dropped said catch into the crowd while he was stood in the end zone, and then in overtime, he got fouled to death. That was brilliant. <laughs> but he's back. Yeah. This was the player that during that game I almost died because of this player. That game was so, so stupid. This player is hazardous for your health, right? I know that sounds like I'm drunk and hazardous for health. No. There you go. Right, alongside him in the other war dancer slot. Lord Nor. Yeah, it's Lord Someone that. Morka is very familiar with. Yeah, but it's only actually three, but he is Mighty Blow piling on tackle. Yeah. It's a really nice dancer. But the AG3 is so painful at times. Mm. Still but Morka's coaching this team, and we'll get to take Lerdner into this at all Star oh tournament. Oh God, Morka's coaching this. Mm. Oh. I'm still haven't forgiven him for that absolute trouncing he gave me in Clan League. <laughs> so we got three more to have a look at. Now, for those who've been around G-Man a long time, you'll have heard of the high sales. Now you also know that the high sales have lots and lots and lots of very very silly players. So, who do you pick? Well, when all else fails, you pick Long Bong Silver. Like, um, he's the original silly player. It's... He's been passing, like, 20 million miles on his yeah. career. Uh, in, in reference for this, it was between Long Bong Silver and Wilfred for the floor possession uh, on the team. And mm. if any floor was going to outbeat Wilfred, it would be Long Bong. He is like, magnificent. This guy is close to legend, and it's only by passing. It's brilliant. 
Bong. Yeah, Long Bong is so good at passing that he made this team ahead of Juan Gunjan, who is an AG6 movement 10 in his prime catcher. <laughs> That's how good Long Bong is. All right, so that means we're going to go back to a couple of humans now. Um, and this is a college league entrant. Ooh. We have Yuri Hurricane Vice, who, I'm going to be honest, is probably going to be line fodder with just mighty blow tackle. But Nothing bad for him. Nothing special, but he, had, he does what he needs to do. He had a good season for the Karaberg Comets down in the college league. It's Road Warriors team. Um... And yeah, Road Warrior sent me like a big message telling me how much he loved this player, and I was like, okay, he can play. So there you go. He's uh, he's been doing work. How to get into the uh, Rebel Super Superstar Shootout? Just send Hangzord a message about how you play it. Which is something I will never be able to do. No, because knife jugger shite. <laughs> All right, <laughs> last but certainly not least, it's a natural one turner. This is, uh... We needed more of those! We didn't this have is, um... Help. It's a human! Is this... What's his name? Oh... The humanly Bear. It's Kiora Humanly Crow. Bear. It's Kiora Crow's natural one-turn human catcher. Oh, God. I, I kind of want him to put this player in the market so I can buy it next season. <laughs> oh, because I need catchers. He's magnificent, is Gotthard Stefan. He's, he's brilliant. So that means that the Rebel huge deals come in at 3270. Yeah. There they are in all the glory. You've Remember, got two re rolls though. That is a diving tackle death roller that is, on the team. Too many skills. I mean, it's going to be an absolute mess when we're looking at it.